Ducks on Limited Television is brought to you by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. Welcome to Ducks Unlimited Television. I'm Ainsley Beeman. In this episode of DUTV, world champion goose caller and co-host Field Hudnall travels to Saskatchewan to share the field with experts at Grant Kuyper's Buck Paradise Lodge. But first, we've got a little more action with Wade Bourne and some Nebraska teal. All next on DUTV. We're going to do a public lands hunt. We'll be hunting on the Verona property. It's open to the public, so if anybody else shows up, they'll be hunting with us. But we hope to have a good shoot on the Verona complex, and we'll see what the day brings. Teal? Yeah. Ready? Oh, good shot. Yeah. This is the third morning of our hunt. Uh, unbelievably, the wind has died. <laughs> this is the first time since we've been in Nebraska that we've had no breeds. We're on the Verona complex. This marsh in front of us is a really good example of what Ducks Unlimited is doing here to maintain the wetlands in this rainwater basin. We've seen a few birds. We've just had one come over the decoys and knocked him down. I think we have good prospects, but uh, every day is a different day. We'll just see what happens. The Verona complex is a thousand acres owned by Ducks Unlimited. There's also 160 acres owned by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, that's the Verona WPA. This is one of the largest contiguous blocks of habitat in the rainwater basin. Another thing that's special about Verona is that they're mostly seasonal wetlands where most of the other public properties are semi-permanent marshes, they're wet more often. The wetlands at Verona are more seasonal, they dry up during the growing season. That allows those annual plants to germinate and they're just more productive than a lot of the more permanent wetlands are. Two teal right there, watch them. Our focus in the rainwater basin is habitat protection. Our revolving lands program is one of the most robust in the nation. Basically, purchase a property that has wetland value. A lot of times the wetlands are degraded. We restore the rainwater basin wetlands on those properties. Protection on them through a conservation easement, either one of ours or one of our conservation partners, and resell the property and reinvest in other properties. Also, we help on public lands quite a bit, doing restoration projects and enhancement projects on their land, installing pumps, installing water control structures, so that they can better manage their wetlands. Just generally helping out in any way we can with our partners. This state is great for partnerships and different wildlife organizations all band together to protect this unique landscape. Shoot that one. All right, boys. That was a pretty flight. They hooked behind us and came in on the right and just started peppering the water out there. And I think we got three out of five, so it's pretty good on team. Ducks Unlimited Television, presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting, is also brought to you by Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades and Ducks Unlimited's Rescue Our Wetlands campaign banding together for waterfowl. This is a wildlife paradise. That's why it's so important to maintain these small marshes that are scattered across the landscape here in the basin. That's what Ducks Unlimited does, so that the birds that come through here can find the nourishment they need to stay healthy during migration. And then especially in spring, when they're headed back north, they can fill up on the groceries here. And when they get on the nests up north, they're gonna be healthy and they're gonna be vital and they're gonna pull off a good nest.
We better shoot Yeah, him. we better. Back. Wow. Man. <laughs> That's oh, a volley. That. Yeah. <laughs> We had a flight of ducks come over, probably 25. It weren't gonna work, but they swept over us all in good range. We jumped up and we had to lead them probably six or eight feet. They were moving. We shot into that flock and I think we knocked down six or seven birds. That was uh, quite memorable. Hey! I'm glad somebody didn't hit him. <laughs> All right, hang my head in shame. <laughs> I got too close. Thank you, Casey. That's why you came, isn't it? <laughs> Casey and Tom and I were sitting on our buckets and looked up and had a teal right in front of us coming across on my side. I flipped at that duck twice, about uh, 10 yards, and uh, missed both times. Casey stood up and just folded it cleanly, and I looked at him and I said, thank you very much. I'm glad somebody got that bird because I wasn't gonna do it that time. We had another bird that flying head on and we couldn't tell exactly what he was. When he got right here, right in front of us, Tim said, it's a teal shoot. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> I almost caught it. And Casey jumped up and shot. He fell right over my head and uh, Tim reached out to try to catch him and he dropped right beside Tim, so. Good girl. I was this close from catching that thing. Yeah, the camera was that close to catching it too. <laughs> that was another memorable moment for my third morning son. Shoot him. Good shot. That one. So our third morning started a little slow and then action picked up as it went on. The sun got up and the wind came up and the birds showed up. Singles and doubles trickled in and we wound up with a good bag. These guys are out here, they're the boots on the ground, so to speak, for DU. We owe them a debt of gratitude for the work they do. It's beautiful out here. I'm glad to have been here and we have had a wonderful hunt. Almost 80 years ago, a group of far-sighted waterfowl hunters got together to form Ducks Unlimited. Their mission? Conserving habitat for ducks, geese, and other waterfowl. Today, our mission remains the same, but our wildlife habitats face challenges our founders couldn't have anticipated. Wetland drainage, grassland conversion, energy development, drought and climate change. We must act now to safeguard the future of North America's waterfowl populations before it's too late. It's time to rescue our wetlands. Ducks Unlimited's Rescue Our Wetlands campaign will help secure our vision of abundant wetlands for generations. With a goal of $2 billion, it's the largest and most comprehensive wetlands conservation campaign in history. If you're a waterfowl hunter, if you care about abundant wildlife habitat and clean water, if you want to leave a conservation legacy, you need to get involved. It can be as simple as attending a DU banquet in your local community, becoming a DU member, or making a campaign gift. Find out more at ducks.org slash rescue. DU Insights is brought to you by Mossy Oak Properties. Find your favorite place at mossyoakproperties.com. DU TV is powered by Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. Mossy Oak Properties, America's land specialist. And Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. What great teal action from Nebraska's public land. Now join us for some terrific shooting for Canada geese, excellent dog work and fellowship. All next on DUTV.
I was excited to find out that DUTV was coming to Northern Saskatchewan. It was a trip I was going to be able to make. But I was even more excited when I found out that we were coming to Paradise Hill, Saskatchewan to hunt with Buck Paradise Outfitters. I've been coming up here in years past and owner Grant Kuypers is one of the nicest guys you can meet and he also has some very phenomenal hunting. Joining us on this hunt was also Dave Kosturski, who is manager of state grants for Ducks Unlimited Canada. Hunting with Dave was a lot of fun because he had a wealth of knowledge about this area and what DU efforts do in this area. And he's also a heck of a hunter and a great shot too. Well, we're in northwest Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is the center of the Prairie Pothole region, which is the breadbasket of waterfowl in North America. This area is so critical to waterfowl. You know, the Prairie Pothole region, a big chunk of it exists in Canada. This supplies your mallards, your pintails, your blue-winged teal, all those species throughout the central Mississippi flyways and actually contributes to both the Pacific and Atlantic flyways as well in the south. This was a fun shoot because this is typical Canada hunt. You're laying there in your blind and there is literally ducks and geese everywhere. And they're all working at the same time. You're literally trying to decide, do I blow my duck call, do I blow my goose call? Because they're, they're constantly both trying to get into your decoys. This is why people come to Canada, this right here. First little call here is a six in one call. It's a super versatile little call. It's really easy to operate. First, you can say it'll do a pintail whistle, just a simple little. You can do a teal call, just a little chirp. A little green wing teal. You can do a widgeon call, noisy bird, just. Mallard drake, just by saying the word real deep into it, say. Uh, you can do a wood duck, just say two wheat. If you forget your whistle for your dog, you can call your dog back by just trailing your tongue. Going. This call is awesome to take along with you. Have a couple of extras because you can take someone who's never been hunting before and never blown a duck call and give them this call and teach them how to do a mallard drake call in less than a minute and then they get to be part of the show when everything starts to happen. So make sure you got a couple extra in your bag. Duck Tactics has been presented by Buck Gardner Calls, champion of champions. DUTV is powered by Biologic, scientifically proven wildlife products. Buck Gardner Calls, champion of champions. Native nurseries, hand-selected, hand-grown plants for wildlife with closed captioning provided by Honey Break Lodge. World-class accommodations and wing shooting on the Louisiana Bayou. Today we're going to make duck nachos. We're going to layer our tortilla chips and then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add the cheese, the goodness. And then I'm going to add a little garlic because garlic is so good and a little bit of cumin to kind of give that kind of Tex-Mex flavor. Jalapenos, you can use fresh or use pickled, it's up to you. A little bit of scallions 
and some black beans just to make them a little bit heartier. And then of course, the most important part, the duck. I'm just gonna spread this evenly all over. It's very important when you're making your nachos to have two layers and layer it all so you get that cheesy goodness and toppings in every bite. And when you're building this, I like to use um, a thicker tortilla chip. And as you can see, this is a little bit messy, but that's okay, just kind of put it back on. And I like to top it again with a little bit of extra cheese. So what I've done is I've preheated my oven to 375 degrees. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about five to eight minutes, just till the cheese is melted, so our nachos are out of the oven. I mean, they're all cheesy and so good, but we need to add a little bit more to make them over the top. So I have some diced tomatoes, and then some cilantro, a little bit of sour cream, if you like it. And there you go, nachos. And these are gonna be so good and so cheesy perfect for every occasion. For this recipe and others just like it, visit ducks.org. Author Jennifer Chandler's latest book is The Southern Pantry Cookbook. For more information and recipes, visit cookwithjennifer.com. <laughs> this is awesome. So the first morning was interesting right off the bat. We were playing on a south wind. We all had a little bit of doubt in our mind that that wind was not gonna be sustained and we were probably gonna have variable winds or no wind at all, which is the kiss of death when it comes to waterfowl hunting. So as the wind stopped and decided to switch, we decided to go ahead and flip our blinds around and face the other way. It felt awkward because our landing zone was actually now behind us. But the way the birds were working, they were setting up low to try to land in the landing zone. So we're actually trying to shoot these birds before before they set up on the landing zone. It was interesting to say the least. There we go. <laughs> that is cool. They're wanting to land in behind us. <laughs> oh, you shot the grape. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to shoot. <laughs> oh. Nice shot. There we go. Now those work nice. <laughs> This idea that state agencies take $100, the dollars that you spend on your license in a state, and send some of those dollars to the breeding grounds to conserve waterfowl. I mean, it's this collective understanding that we all have a responsibility to make sure this resource continues, that Louisiana, Kansas, Oklahoma, and 38 other states that currently contribute to work in Canada are all committed to do. For more than 75 years, the conservation efforts of Ducks Unlimited and its sister organizations in Canada and Mexico have helped perpetuate waterfowl throughout North America. Thanks to Grant Kuypers for the hospitality, the information, and another great episode. Continue next time on DUTV. Until then, for all of us at Ducks Unlimited, safe travels and happy hunting.